this and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this week I've got a shopping haul from, I was going to go to Tesco's, but I've had to go to Lidl um, because it's the kids have term and I'm not near uh, Tesco's this week. Um, so it's a Lidl shop. I spent 165 quid, which I am like, what on earth on? Um, it's been the most expensive shop so far and I'm not impressed. So. I will definitely not be going and doing my shopping at Lidl from now on until they reduce their prices. So let's get into it to what I actually bought. First of all, I'll say hello to Tigger because he's always in these videos these days. So I picked up this bird seed, a bit expensive, but I'm not going anywhere that would have it cheaper. So that was $2.99. Um, then I got Tigger, the 40 pack of um, a Sheba Fine Flakes and that's $15.99 got my mum a British Butter and Salted then I've picked up 10 chicken satay uh, skewers ready to eat for the kids two of the sour cream and chive dip pick these up for the dogs to share and got my pomegranate seeds for my breakfasts uh, sweet corn and a tin of baked beans. Pick this up for the kids, which I think one of them will be the main culprit to eating them um, because I haven't had anything like this for a while. So picked up the Simply Penny, I think it's about 40 pence for that. Move that out of the way. Got some cooked chicken breast slices for my mum. Um, one of my daughters was wanting some uh, of these Cornish pasties. She used to have a thing for them, went off them, and she wanted some getting again, so I picked up a pack of them. Fruit cocktail trifles there for my mum. Picked up just something sweet for the other kids, uh, for biscuit-wise, so the caramel biscuits. They're on offer 99 pence. Run out of ibuprofen, so got them. Then I got these to try. We haven't had these ones before. Uh, Raku, I think it is, or Raku, uh, chicken poke, um, so I got th three or four, hold on, four, I got four of the chicken ones, just bear with me while I move the wreck it joint, four of the chicken ones, and then I got a shiitake mushroom poke to try, Two of the large Greek yogurts, a, a basmati rice, then two packs of their chicken mini, mini fillets. Had to check the date on this because the ones at the front were the 13th and then the ones at the, um, that were the next row back were the 18th. A family pack of beef meatballs to do meatball subs, an iceberg lettuce, then the usual snack things for for dinner, lunch, however you want it. Uh, chicken and duck, I've got three of those. Prefer these actually at Lidl than Aldi because you get the wasabi pickled ginger in there as well as the, the little thing of uh, soy sauce. And I picked up two of the vegetable ones to try. Some strawberries for one daughter. Two packs of the Easy Peelers pack of bananas, pack of kiwis, got these for my son and one of the daughters, it's a bit crowded because I haven't washed up yet again, so this parcel was 7 99 for 60 washes, they did have an aerial, not an aerial, a fairy in the other type that was only 27 for £6 and put that back and I picked up this because for £1 extra you get 60 washes, picked up their 4 mil uh, laundry antibacterial laundry cleanser just exactly like the Dettol one that I normally get I picked up an antibacterial hand wash for the downstairs bathroom and just this shower cream for my mum some stew tin of stewing steak for my mum tin of beans um I do believe that's coconut milk yep coconut milk three of the milks uh four pints of normal milk a freeway orange aid, uh, a fake iron brew kind of thing. 
a peach tea and a lemonade. Lemonade's for my mum, peach tea's for uh, my youngest daughter, iron brews for the other daughter, oranges for the son, mini grated cheddar cheese, because as I say, we have mice, not really, but it's the kids, uh, a large of the pineapple chunks, two of these, really like these, um, Arabiata pasta sauces, that's for me to do either pasta as in bolognese or in this case to do meatball sub. Picked up some heavy duty bags, some celery for my daughter for her smoothies, some spaghetti swing bin liners, fusilli pasta, large one, some garlic and herb uh, croutons. Bought these to try, cheesy pretzels, only ever seen these in kind of things in Marx's. 39 pounds each, so got four. A big pack of the Weetabix. Got some tiger bread to do the um, meatball subs in. Uh, got these for my mum. Lemon drizzle cake cookies. A mixed Italian leaf salad. Some croissants. Picked up one each of the heart donuts for my daughters and that's the other tiger bread hi um also i missed off uh, doing the freezer stuff um i got three of their i think it's alfredo pizzas and two meat feasts and a margarita uh one of their packs of the mini ice creams that you can get uh, i think there's eight 12 in the pack can't remember uh, and my son picked up a um, a tub of ice cream as well um, so that's what was missed off from the what I've shown you already um, based on um, my shopping at Aldi and Sainsbury's for one Sainsbury's was better quality the kids enjoyed that week's shopping we don't normally shop at um, Sainsbury's only if I'm in the sort of like near one and I need to pick up milk or something like that, I'll pop in and get that. But I won't do a weekly shop um, because normally it's been one of the most expensive supermarkets to, to go to. Um, my usual go-tos used to be um, just Lidl and then alternate Lidl and all Aldi. And then uh, because of where we live, Morrison's comes into it now. Um, but after going to Lidl, I didn't even buy a week's shopping um food wise as in an evening meal food wise um i think i've got like they've got the meatballs the two chickens the the pizzas so that's uh four four meals use the chicken pot be pot balls as a meal for this evening didn't really enjoy that everybody wasted it so that was not a hit at all um, but if you don't try these things, then you don't know if you like them, so to speak. Um, so all in all, spending 165 quid in Lidl was just downright ridiculous um, compared to the quality and the amount of food that I've got in the previous shops, uh, both Aldi and Sainsbury's. I've done a proper week shop of meals every single day for the five of us. And if it, I haven't done for the five of us, I've been able to get my mum her own things like some ready meals and what have you for her to make her own meals. Whereas in Lidl, they've changed the recipes, I think, in the um, ready, frozen ready meals because um, my mum no longer likes the taste of them. Um, I don't know if they've changed the recipes or if it's just her, um, but they don't seem to agree with her anymore. Um, like they've added something in, into yeah. them. So I will be going to Lidl um, again in the foreseeable future. I did notice walking around a lot of their products that used to be 99 pence. They've seemed to have jumped over the two pound barrier. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it's it's good value for money. Um, and I only I only really um, needed a few a few bits. I really didn't need a full week shopping as such so 165 and it's not even a full week shopping um yeah that that's just that's just not good for me 
um, and for the like <laughs> my bank balance basically. Um, so yeah, so next week, um, kids back at school. Uh, the other one will be back at college. So I will do a Tesco's um shop for next week, and let's see if uh, we do any better with Tesco's doing our normal weekly shop of the kind of meals that we would normally have in a week. So I'll see you in the next vlog. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Click the like and subscribe buttons and have a good week. Take care and sending you lots of love. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.